Hello everyone, welcome back to this video on probability and statistics. In this video, we are going to discuss the correlation between two random variables. So when I talk about the word correlation, it gives me the dependence in between two random variables or the dependence of one random variable on the second random variable or I can say it is the relation between two random variables. So I hope you remember how I can find out two random variables from the sample space. If not, you can go and watch my previous video on the introduction towards random variable where I discussed the concept of random variable in detail. So I hope now you know what is random variable, how I can compute random variable from the sample space. So now about correlation, correlation gives me the dependence of one random variable on the another random variable. So when I talk about correlation, it can be measured using the formula of covariance. Covariance gives me the dependence of one random variable on the second random variable or how the two random variables are related. So let's suppose I have two random variables x and y. So now covariance is given by Covariance of the random variable x, y is given by E. So now I hope you remember what is E. E is the expectation. Expectation of x minus mx multiplied by y minus my. So now if I have to find out the formula of covariance. So what I can do? I can multiply them. So it would be. So x and y got multiplied and I'll get x, y. Now minus m, y, x minus m, x, y plus m, y, m, x. So now because I know E is a linear operator, I can say E to be a linear operator. So now I can expand it. So it would be equal to E of x, y minus e of m y into x minus e of m x y plus e of m y m x. So now I have to simplify it. It can be written as e of x y minus m is a constant m I can take outside m y into e of x minus similarly I can take m x outside e of y plus so this m y m x and m y both are constant I can write it like this so now e of x I know e of x is equal to m x I can represent the, the expectation of x is equal to mean of x Similarly, the expectation of y is equal to mean of y. So now I'll be replacing ex and ey with the help of mx and my. So now my equation come out to be e of xy minus my mx minus my mx plus m by m x. So now it can be written as e of x y minus 2 m x m y plus m x m y. So now these two are same. So I can write it as e of x y minus m x m y. So now this is my covariance of x comma y so now i hope you are clear how i can find out covariance or the dependence of random variable x of on random variable y so this is giving me the relation between x and y 
So now when I have to find out the relation between two random variables, I'll use this formula. So now from here, I can find out the relation between any two random variables. So if I have four set of random variables, so now for first set, I can find out the relation for second set, I can find out the relation for third set and for fourth set, but these are not standardized. So now to make the things more standardized, if I have to compare four set of random variables, then I have to show some standardized formula. So the standardized formula is of correlation coefficient. So the correlation coefficient is given by. So the correlation coefficient is equal to sigma xy upon sigma x sigma y where sigma xy is the covariance of x with respect to y and sigma x is the autocorrelation of x and sigma y is the autocorrelation of y. So now what is autocorrelation? If I instead of taking this y from here I can take covariance of x comma x. So, so covariance of x comma x can be written as e of x minus mx multiplied by x minus mx. So instead of y, if I am taking x, so that would be called my autocorrelation. So I hope now you are clear what is autocorrelation and how I can find out co correlation coefficient. So, so now when I denote the correlation coefficient with rho xy, the value of rho xy lies in between minus 1 to 1. So now if I talk about independent random variables. So what was the condition for independent random variables? f of x comma y is written as f x into f y. So now this is my marginal distribution of x. This is my marginal distribution of y. Similarly, mean of x y is written as mean of x into mean of y. I have already described this in one of my previous video how I can find out the mean of independent random variables. Mean are also the product of means. So now here the means are the product of means. So now if I talk about the random variables. So now from here I can say independent random variables are uncorrelated. So you can easily find out the mean also. You can try to find out the mean without looking at my previous video. But if you have any doubt, you can look at my previous video how I computed the mean of independent random variables. So if the mean is the product of mean, I can say the two are uncorrelated. These two don't have any relation in between them. So I can say independent random variables are always uncorrelated, but the reverse is not true. So I can say uncorrelated, independent, uncorrelated random variables may not be always independent. So I hope now you are clear that uncorrelated random variables can be made in that case when this covariant, covariance is zero. So now I can say uncorrelated random variables are not always independent, but reverse is always true that independent random variables are always uncorrelated because I can easily separate the means and these are not dependent upon each other. So they don't have any relation between each other. So now the exception is I can say joint Gaussian distribution are the exceptions. So I can say when I have joint Gaussian distribution, both of the conditions are true that independent random variables are uncorrelated as well as uncorrelated random variables are always independent. So this is the only exception to this phenomena. So now here I'll wind up my session. I hope you understood everything which I discussed. Still, if you have any doubt, you can put your doubt in the comment box below. I'll try to resolve it. If you like this video, share it with it 
it with your friends and also subscribe the channel and push the like button. Thank you.